Hello everyone, Vita Z32 back with another deck review. Today we're looking at the latest Ace Fulton's deck from Fulton Playing Guards. We got the Fool's Gold and the Miami Vice Blue. Yay. <laughs> and uh I don't think there's metallic inks on the top cases. The the top case is just has the signage we're all familiar with. I think most of us are familiar with. D&D Point Guard Company on the one side, Air Fulton's Casino on the other. That's the Air Fulton's, Ace Fulton's Casino. Fulton's on top, and top in the bottom, and in the back is basically the same as the front. Actually, it is identical. No seals, and then we get to the cards. Of course, this is a fictional casino. I like to point out that they were the first ones to come up with a custom casino deck that everyone else is copycats, but... It is what it is. Um, put the right USB-C. You do get this one card for Lee, Lee's High Poker Room. On the other side is this list of things to do, I guess. And then you got this uh, tipsy ad card. These are fake ad cards. The back design looks like that. It does kind of seem metallic-y. I'm not 100% sure they didn't advertise it as metallic inks i don't think you get the compliments of south las vegas nevada jokers the ace of spades is of course very jerry's nugget-esque if you will uh a nice small index says the cards all have one custom pip on the number card court cards some modifications just like their other decks, this one has a bit of a two of spades reveal there. This one has a little custom pip. There's the diamonds. Fancy. The rest of the court cards are standard, as far as I can tell. And then the, uh, the hearts. That blasted upside down pip that I hate so much is just... Kind of annoying, it just looks weird, but maybe I, I shouldn't say I hate it, it's just, it's not my favorite. Mm. And the other deck is exactly the same, except that it is in the blue color, and you get the same ad cards, and jokers, and the ace of spades, and everything. Exactly the same, no different colors on the court cards or anything. Why put the effort in, right? And there's the back. It's a nice light blue color. It is nice to see, I guess, Ace Fulton's do some less traditional colors. But it's still, it's just more the same. Uh, they're printed by USB-C on the Buckwind Crust Stock, I do believe. And Eric and Finnis. So, they're pretty good in terms of quality. No complaints. Uh, overall, I do like the colors, uh, I do, you know, I don't hate the, uh, I mean, I'm a fan of the Ace Fulton's brand, I guess you could say. <clears throat> and everything, you know, I don't have many complaints, quality is good, obviously, I would probably give these a B. They're fine for what they are. I think that's a fair score. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, I should say. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.